Hello and welcome to first tutorial in PHP programming. In PHP, in order for you to write the code, you have to use the scriptlets to tell the web server that whatever is between these two symbols is PHP code. Anything outside of this could be client-side code, you could write HTML, CSS, anything and everything that you have learned in client-side application development can be written outside of that PHP. So if I would like to display a message in HTML, I can certainly write my HTML structure and I can have my uh, head and I can have the body, the whole nine yards that we have learned in HTML. You can build your page around HTML5 standards. You can have uh, CSS, you can have anything and everything that you have learned. Uh, you can include JavaScript, but wherever you need to break out from HTML to server side, so for anything that you need server-side processing to be done, that's where you need to include that PHP directive. So here, for example, if I want to display welcome to HTML, and then right after I want to display welcome to PHP from PHP. Now there are two different ways of doing that. The latest edition of PHP is PHP 7 and to be exact 7.2. So in the prior versions of uh, PHP, we could use echo, and that would certainly allow me to display a message, welcome to PHP through echo, okay? And, you, and your statements in semicolon, just like if you're familiar with Java or C++ or C Sharp, or JavaScript, you know that how the semicolon works. It terminates your instruction set. If you want to display the message, you can also display the message with the help of print. So print also allows you to display welcome to PHP through print, okay? So now, after I am done saving this, I would now like to run it. So right click on it, and I'm gonna go to run as and run on server. I pick my server and I hit finish, and here we go. Here we see all three statements on the same line. The reason is, because if you do not break out, it will going to display everything in the same line. So to break out, you still got to use the same old way of doing it. BR is the HTML code. Okay, so that will allow me to break welcome to PHP through echo on a different line than welcome to HTML. Similarly, I can incorporate HTML, any HTML tag within the double quotes in PHP, and it will going to act exactly the same way it would be in HTML. So let's check this out. You don't even have to restart the server. You, my script is already running. All I need to go to is a run page and refresh. And here you can go, voila. So welcome to HTML that was outside of the PHP. Welcome to PHP through echo and welcome to PHP through print. All three outputs comes out on the screen. Now, what web server does, it basically converts all of your PHP code into an equal and HTML code because the browser doesn't understand any PHP. So that's what all web servers would do. That they will convert all your server-side script code into an equal and client-side code. So this is how you can display a message from the PHP into an HTML, uh, into, a, into a web browser. So that's something to keep in mind, echo or print. Whatever you want to display to the user goes in double quotes. You can use any and all HTML tags. For example, if I want to now display this in bold, I can certainly just turn it into bold, just this portion. And let me save the changes and refresh this. And notice, welcome to PHP is in bold. Very similar to this, if I want this particular welcome to be in a division tag, then I don't need, really need the BR because division automatically breaks the line. So now let me refresh and we'll notice without BR works exactly the same way. Now I can go back in my code and I can say I want to style this div. Okay. So I want to style this div by writing some CSS properties on it. So I, I want to say that I want this font weight to be bold. And I want the font size to be 14 points. Now, uh, let me refresh. There you go. So it's larger in size and it's bold. So any CSS will going to work all over your code because after your code gets converted from PHP into plain HTML, that's when the CSS is actually applied to it at the browser level, not at the web server level. So you don't have to worry about if it's in PHP or anywhere else. All your CSS will eventually apply. It doesn't matter inline, extended, or embedded. 
So that's the intro to PHP. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at some programming constructions and some of the other things about PHP. Till then, have a great